in this video you will write the smart contract for a medical industry so let's write the smart contract and later we're going to test the smart contract let me do the general configuration license identifier then pragma solidity version and here we're going to create a contract by the name let's say medical history and that we have to define the data set so the first is going to be the struct and in this we go to keep the data about the patients and their medical history so we'll call it patients and let's define the struct so we'll take the string name of the patient then we have to take the unt the age then we'll take the string and in this we're going to keep the information about his health that what are the problems he has and we'll take a another string and in that we're going to keep all the allergy he has another string data type in that we go to keep the medica medication which he is taking and we'll have uh, another string array in that we go to keep all the data so this is the first data set of the smart contract in that we are keeping all the information about the patients like medical history and everything let's come down here we go to create the first mapping because we have to track because this smart contract will have a multiple patients so we have to map their data so we are taking an address mapping time because every single patient will be unique and it's better to take their address you can go with the id but here i'm taking the address so here we're going to define that struct and it would be public patients so this is our mapping so now let's write the very first function which allow to add patients so we'll come here we're going to create a function we'll call it add patient and in that we're going to pass a couple of data so remember we are getting all of these data which we have to fulfill in the patient struct so we have to get all of the data so let's take that data very quickly so we'll take the string memory name we'll take the age we'll take the string array because the condition so it's gonna be in uh, array type we'll take the allergy we'll take the medication we'll take the and that's the data we are taking from the user and it's going to be a public so anybody can call and interact with a smart contract and now we have to store all of this data into our struct so let's do that very quickly we'll take that patient's memory and we'll give this patients and this is how we're going to update our struct the same structure we are following here whatever we have followed in the real state smart contract so if you haven't watched i'll link in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that so let's update the struct and we have to get this message dot sender is going to be the patient because he is the one who going to call the call the function so that's the data we are updating now let's come down here we are done with the very first function which allow to add patients and now we have to write uh, one more function which allow to update the patient's information okay because patient is not going to have the same health condition some of the patient will get improved in their health some of them will get worse and some of them will have extra disease so we need to have a function in our smart contract which allow to change the data of the patient so that's the function we're going to build that we'll call it function update patient and in that we're going to take the so we're going to define a couple of variables in that so condition allergy memory medication we have now we have this these are the data we are taking from the update patients and now we have to simply update that so we'll have to get the copy of the struct and now we're going to simply change that so this is how we're going to identify because patient address is going to be the unique identifier of that patient so once we have the copy of that patient that particular patient who wants to update his data so once we have his data now we have to simply update his data so let's do it very quickly we have to update his conditions we have to update his allergy and we have to update his medications and the last one is the procedures hope i'm pronouncing this correctly so we have updated all of these data so this looks good to me so we are done with the update patient function and now we have to build one more function which allow us to get the information about a particular person particular patient so let's write that very quickly we'll call it patient get patient and in that we have to pass the address because that's the unique identifier and that's the data we are passing in our mapping it's going to be a public and we have to simply return the entire struct so let's return that and we have to return all of the data which we are taking in our struct so let's rewrite that very quickly and this looks good now we have to simply return that we have to make a copy of that data so make a copy this is how we can get that and now we're going to simply return that entire data so we have name age patient condition then we have the allergy then we have the patient medications and the last one is his treatment 
looks good to me no more problem and that's it with that we are done with the entire smart contract for this medical history you can add a lot of things i show you a simple example now let's test this out so you can see this is the patient drug this is the first function this is the second function update patient and this is the third one and now let's test this out this is the entire smart contract we have written for the medical industry this is the first data set this is the mapping we have and this is the very first function which allow us to add the patient this is the second function to update the data and the last one we have to update it let's deploy the contract click on this click here and click on this deploy the transaction went through you can open the logs and you can see the entire data if you come here here you have the insert of the contract and here we have all of these four functions so first function we have to add the patient so let's do that quickly so i'm going to provide my name <laughs> i don't want to be a patient and 23 and here I, we have to pass the data in form of array because that's what we have defined here so i'm going to simply copy that and i'm going to paste the same data in all of these fill okay that's the one I'm going to pass it and I will click on this transaction. You can see the transaction went through. If you open the logs, you can easily able to find all of the data which you have provided. So you can see this entire data. And if you want to get this particular patients, all you have to do is to pass the address. So I come here and I can simply copy the address and I'm going to simply pass that address here. If I make a request, I can easily able to get the data, the name and the age of that particular user. And that's coming from the mapping we have defined okay this mapping giving us the data if i simply copy the address and i will paste here in this i can get all the data so i can click on this get patients and here you can see these all data we have provided that's all we are getting here if you want to pass multiple data all you have to do is to provide this comma and then you have to pass the field everything's working fine so hope this entire contract makes sense to all of you guys now you guys have know that how you can write the smart contract and you have to practice this small small smart contract and that will give you a very good idea that how you can write smart contract for a real world application and this smart contract is absolutely fine you can use in your front end so make a simple front end one page front end where you can allow user to put their medical history and they can and you can display right in front of them okay so hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you so if you have any confusion any doubt do leave in the comment section and i want you to build an application around this so this is the smart contract which is already given to you i want you to create a one single page front end where you can make the interaction with the contract this contract which i have provided okay so if you have any confusion about the connecting part watch the nft marketplace or a unisop loan in that i have explained everything and that will give you a very good guidance with that i'm ending this video hope you have liked it if you still have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section